This is not the cabin that they sold us by the picture. The picture that we had had a window on this end, did not have one in the back, had another one on the other end, and one on either side of the front door. <coughs> Wendy's thinking it's measurement doesn't look quite right either, so we're going to have to check that out. I mean, either way, we're going to probably end up keeping this one here, but we're definitely going to have to um, talk to them about the price of it if it's not as, as large as the one that we had ordered. Uh, it was supposed to be 14 by 32, so we'll see. In January of 2020, Lundy and I were both feeling very discouraged that our house build wasn't coming along any faster. We were both working very different shifts, and the property was an hour away, so it was hard to get time to come up as often as we would like. We made a decision to go ahead and buy a pre-made cabin so that we could spend more time up here and just go to work from here. When they brought us the cabin, it was the wrong one. But all of the prep work trying to get everything together was a big ordeal because we had a limited amount of time and we would have access to bring it through on the road. So, unfortunately, we got stuck with a smaller, slightly different cabin. In addition to the cabin not being the right size, we ordered it in January and didn't get it until the first week of April. It was a really cold day and they came in four hours after they were supposed to be here when we had gentlemen waiting with tractors because we knew that they wouldn't be able to pull it on their own despite what they told us they could do. So we all made the best of it. We made a fire and uh, had some hot dogs over the fire and just kind of made it a day. We did have a family talk with our kids and made sure that they were okay with us making this big transition to moving into all of us in one room for a while until things progressed a bit more. And they were both completely on board. The other children are grown up and on their own, so it wasn't any big deal to them. However, the two that were still at home, it was important that they were comfortable with our decision. We also um, went ahead and immediately mounted a TV because you can't have teenagers without a television. So what exactly can I do for you because you look very uncomfortable? <laughs> oh, there we go. Are you stuck? No, it's just I gotta lean on things. Oh, that hurts when you lean on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop recording now. <laughs> of course, for the kids to have a television and for us to have communication. We needed to have electrical. So we've installed solar and windmill power and we immediately started using a composting toilet. Uh, we are gonna be changing some things along the lines as we go. 
And over the past couple of years, we did build on three bedrooms onto the back of the cabin so that everybody has their own space. In this time frame, my son, um, who was living with us, has met the love of his wife, and they got married this past September. Some of our adult children did come and help us to install some of the solar panels. Originally, we put eight panels on the roof and then decided later, after the first snow that we had the following year, that we didn't like having all of them on the roof for cleaning them off purposes. So now we do have an array on the ground. I do want to th say thank you to CJ and Rainey, to Jacob, and to Harley for their help on installing all of those um, in the original days getting set up here. Without them, I don't know that we would have been able to get them up there. Now it's 2022 and a lot has sure happened um, in the meantime. And I will share with you in the next couple of videos what has transpired since, besides the obvious with the whole uh, pandemic situation, but um, where we are and what we've done and some of the challenges we've faced because homesteading is hard. And I just want to thank you for watching and God bless.